Polymer Flood Polymer Flooding Chemical and Hanched Oil Recovery Part 1 Polymer flooding is one of the chemical methods used in enhanced oil recovery technology to improve the recovery of oil from reservoirs. It involves injecting a solution of polymer into the reservoir, which increases the viscosity of the injected water in order to improve the sweep efficiency in the reservoir. The increased viscosity of the water causes a better mobility control between the injected water and the hydrocarbons within the reservoir. Polymer flooding has been successfully used in a variety of reservoirs around the world, and it is considered to be a relatively low-cost ear technique. However, it requires careful design and monitoring to ensure that it is effective, and it may not be suitable for all reservoirs. Polymer A polymer, Greek, poly equals many, mer equals part, is a substance or material consisting of very large molecules called macromolecules, composed of many repeating subunits. Due to their broad spectrum of properties, both synthetic and natural polymers play essential and ubiquitous roles in everyday life. Polymers range from familiar synthetic plastics such as polystyrene to natural biopolymers such as DNA and proteins that are fundamental to biological structure and function. Polymers, both natural and synthetic, are created via polymerization of many small molecules, known as monomers. Their consequently large molecular mass, relative to small molecule compounds, produces unique physical properties including toughness, high elasticity, viscoelasticity, and a tendency to form amorphous and semi-crystalline structures rather than crystals. Types of Polymers there are several types of polymers used in enhanced oil recovery EOR, applications, including 1. Hydrolyzed polyacrylamide, HPAM, PAM is the most commonly used polymer in ear applications. PAM is a water-soluble polymer that can be easily mixed with water to form a viscous solution. PAM is effective in improving sweep efficiency and reducing water production in reservoir. 2. Xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a naturally occurring biopolymer that is produced by fermentation of sugars by the bacterium Xanthomonas campestris. It is effective in reducing water production and improving sweep efficiency in reservoirs. 3. Alkali soluble polymers. Alkali soluble polymers are polymers that are soluble in alkali solutions. They are effective in reducing interfacial tension between oil and water, improving oil mobility and reducing water production in reservoirs. 4. Polyethylene Oxide PEO, PEO is a water-soluble polymer that can be easily mixed with water to form a viscous solution. 5. Polyvinyl Alcohol PVA, PVA is a water-soluble polymer that can be used to reduce water production in reservoirs. Overall, the choice of polymer depends on the characteristics of the reservoir and the desired outcome of the ear application. The polymer must be compatible with the reservoir fluids and must have the ability to maintain its viscosity over a wide range of temperatures and pressures. Polymer Laboratory Test Polymer laboratory tests are conducted to evaluate the properties of polymers and their suitability for various applications. Some common laboratory tests used for polymers include 1. Phase behavior test 2. Polymer rheology test 3. Thermal stability test 4. Polymer adsorption test 5. Chemical resistance test 6. Core Flood Test Polymer Thermal Stability Test This test used to determine the temperature range at which a polymer can maintain its physical and mechanical properties. Polymer Core Flood Test This test involves injecting a polymer solution into a core reservoir rock sample, to simulate a flooding operation and the improvement oil recovery. The injection rate, pressure, and other parameters are controlled to simulate the real conditions of a polymer flooding operation. The tests also to evaluate the impact of different factors on polymer flooding, 
such as the concentration and viscosity of the polymer solution, the salinity, at the temperature and pressure conditions. The test results can be used to optimize the polymer formulation and injection parameters, and to determine the potential benefits of using polymer flooding in a particular reservoir. One of the challenges of polymer flooding is ensuring that the polymer solution is stable and does not degrade over time. Factors such as temperature, pH, and salinity can all affect the stability of the solution, and it may be necessary to adjust the polymer formulation to ensure that it remains effective over the course of the flooding operation. Polymer flooding has proven to be an effective ear technique in many cases, and it is likely to continue to be an important tool for improving oil recovery from reservoirs. Ongoing research is focused on developing more advanced polymer formulations that can be used in a wider range of reservoir conditions, as well as improving the efficiency of the injection and production processes involved in polymer flooding. To be continued.